What's up, sneaker people? It's your boy FB Kicks and Gear, and I am back with another legit check guide. This time, we have a pretty scary update to my legit check series on the Travis Scott One Low, the OG version. Now, I don't know if you guys pay attention uh, to what goes on on the ground and the whole, you know, replica world. I have to pay attention to that so that I can do my legit check guides. Uh, when new stuff comes out, I want to make sure that I'm able to get these guides out so people can stay informed. Well, the PK 4.0, which is supposed to be the batch that is driving everybody crazy. It's supposed to be using real retail like materials and things like that. I got to say this batch is scary. Uh, I compared the reverse mocha pair to mine. I thought it was okay. I didn't think it was that scary. I think that it was completely legit checkable. Uh, this pair, this pair is scary. And because I don't have an authentic pair of the lows, I will be using my highs, which you guys are very much so familiar with to be checking off the basics so that uh, we can get a nice well-rounded guide out with that said you guys know that you can go to the instagram account on the screen to get all of the all of the detailed pictures and everything that you need to do your research so that you can identify this batch when you see it so you don't get scammed so please head over to that but with all that said guys let's get into this legit checking guide now you guys know that whenever i talk about travis scott one highs the original pair I'm always talking about the new buck. Talk about how it's super soft, it's plush, it's got a lot, it's got a lot of that transitionary kind of motion going on uh, because of the type and quality of new buck that they're using. And it's got almost like a, a, a three-dimensional aspect of it because it's not a you know synthetic material. It's a it's a material that has flaws in it and that adds to the dimensioning of the new buck. And I always talk about how reps never get it right. They only try to focus on the look. They never try to actually match the quality of it. But this, this is the closest that I've ever seen come to the new buck of the authentic pairs. And I am super, super, super blown away. And people should be worried in my opinion. I think they should be worried because when you look at it, hopefully you guys can see it uh, in the camera, but it's got all the same transition as the authentic pair. You can see all of that definition. Um, it feels, it finally feels like the authentic pair. And when you do it side by side, we get the boxes out of the way. Uh, just a little quick note, I'm not gonna do a comparison of the boxes because they're technically two different shoes, but they should be the same color. They're not, obviously the rep box is a different color. The labels are different because they came out with different labels. So uh, I'm not gonna go into the boxes. I'm gonna spend most of my time on the shoes. So let me get the boxes out of the way and then we can really focus on the shoes. But just like the authentic pair of highs, I don't have to do much to show you guys that this is it's the same kind of new buck. You can see from the back specifically, They feel the same, it's soft. I am completely blown away by the fact that a rep factory decided, all right, we're coming for quality. And usually that's what I would use to kind of separate the real from the fake. And now uh, I would be afraid to see what the PK 4.0 high is gonna look like. I will have that appear on my channel pretty soon, but if it's anything like this, We've, we've got some issues guys, we've got some issues. Uh, the new buck for the authentic OG lows is supposed to be a little bit lighter on average than the new buck of the highs. So when you put them side by side, you should see a slight tonal difference. Uh, in some cases it will be, it'll match up a little bit, but more or less you'll see that the, the tone of the low will be a slight bit lighter than the tone of the high. And you can see that that's what's going on right here, right now. And man, you can see the three dimensional texture of the new buck all around. I am not even trying. Uh, it's, it's wild to me that they got it this close. Now, the new buck is right. They got the new buck right. Uh, that doesn't mean 
that these are completely unlegit checkable. They can be legit checked, but this is scary. I did not think after all these, all these years, there was going to be a company or a factory or whatever decided to make something that resembles the authentic pair so much. So be on the lookout. You will not be able to legit check solely based on the new book anymore. Not for this, at least. But as I said, you will be able to do legit checking. Uh, there are things that this gets right that no other batch gets right. For instance, if you look at the midsole, if you guys recall, every single legit check video that I've done up to date for the Travis Scott ones shows that the reps will always have a darker midsole than the authentic pair. And this actually does not. This actually has a lighter midsole. Lighter in the sense that this is what a brand new pair looked like, right? Mine is worn, obviously. It does age a little bit and it does get darker. Uh, usually not as dark as what reps tend to look like. Here's an example of what a rep looks like compared to an authentic pair. You can see how generally the midsoles are darker, even what, even though this is a lot newer than this is. This actually has a lighter midsole. One thing you can look at though, is when you look at the outsole, you do see that the outsole is a different color. It should be a more of a brown. This has got that reddish brown kind of going on. So might be a little bit harder to tell once it's worn so if you're shopping for worn pairs pay attention to that but um, definitely not exactly the same color it's not that mocha brown that the authentic pairs use but the midsole is correct another thing that i am still kind of holding on to uh, and it's a it's a usually a pretty good legit checking indicator is the fact that the nike air tongue tag it should be an off-white the backing to the Nike Air should be an off-white like the authentic highs are. And the rep is more of a clean white, like a bright white. So that is a good indicator. You can still hone in on that. Another thing that I noticed about these it's different than other reps and authentic pairs is the, the surface of the rep lows has this, I want to say it's probably the, a polyurethane layer over the reverse swoosh that gives it a texture that is not what authentic pairs look like uh, it's a little bit better on here but you can tell that there's some kind of layer messing with the surface tension making it not tumble the way uh, something like this would tumble i would expect the reverse swoosh to tumble the same way the side panels tumble here or this is a rep this is a rep fragment low uh, but this is what I, it, I, I'm used to seeing. You can see that difference. Uh, this is what an authentic pair looks like. Bakes definitely have the, wrong, the color wrong, but this is what an authentic pair should look like. And you can kind of see the difference there. So that is something, at the very least, that's, that's unique to this batch that I've seen so far. Look at the difference between. So that is something that you can hone in on. Another thing that's important to look at is the shape. Now, for these in particular, they had a toe box that no other Travis Scott one low had uh, specifically because no other Travis Scott one low has a all premium new buck upper. But there is a specific shape to this shoe where the profile bellies out a lot more than the other Travis Scott one low releases do. And you can see it perfectly here. See how it's got that it's almost protruding, uh, almost like it looks wrong, but that's what authentic pairs are supposed to look like. The difference between a this rep and an authentic pair is that this has a higher profile nose than the authentic pairs do. Same thing goes over here. You can see that protrusion. For an authentic pair, I would like to see it a little bit flatter. Uh, obviously, I've got the shoe tree in here that's going to keep it bolstered a little bit, but Authentics, if you go and you look them up, you'll see that it's definitely a lot lower of a profile. So that's still something you can pay attention to. Another thing that you want to pay attention to when you're focusing on the cactus jack here, uh, I tend to like to see the C only be touched at the very top when you're talking about the cactus jack and the stitch. Um, this is not terrible, but... Uh, combined with other things, this can help. Positioning of this can help. Um, 
particularly for the Nike Air Wing logo on the back. There should be more embroidery above the I and the R. Looks like there's only one string going across there. Uh, but keep in mind, they are very, 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 very bad on authentic pairs. Doesn't matter what release it is. So um, not a huge thing, but other than that, there's not really much to point to. The laces that come with these are supposed to be waxed. They're definitely thicker than what I would wanna see on the Travis Scott one low, and you can see that here. My assumption is that the laces aren't perfect either, um, specifically the red ones. Uh, the pink ones look what I would expect. Uh, the black rope laces look what I would expect, but Nike air placement is a little bit further than what I would like to see on the Cactus Jack here. Um, usually I only want to see one stitch separating the Nike air from the Cactus Jack, but uh, for larger sizes above size 11, 11 and a half, 12, you'll start to see that gap up, up here a lot more. Smaller sizes, you'll probably want to see less of a gap. But uh, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I was never expecting there to be a Travis Scott one low this good. And um, it's scary. So please guys stay up on this, uh, pay attention, uh, look up the different batches, do your research because things are now getting scary. I never thought we would be here, but here we are. And the proof is in the pudding. This is my authentic high. This is the rep low. With all that said, guys, remember, go to this Instagram account so you can see more pictures of this, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.